Okay, how to beat Raiden. So, we're going to be using Geo Traveler for the majority of this fight. Right? As you can see here, my gear is okay. Don't worry about the 5 star uh, flower. It's just kind of there. Otherwise, it's all 4 star here. You know, pretty decently obtainable stuff. Right? Anyways, we're going to be using uh, Amber for the double pyro bonus, which is a flat 25% attack bonus. All right? And we're going to be using Lisa because we may need her because she's an Electro unit. I'll explain why. We're going to bring Shangling as well because she attacks fast. And I'm going to explain that as well later. So anyways, let's get into the fight. All right, so we have Raiden here. Uh, she will usually start off with one of these moves, all right? Where she'll do this whole thing and just stay away. You can... Uh, wait for her to teleport over here, do another big explosion, and then throw the rock once her spear is down. Otherwise, she will follow up with a, uh, a sword wave. I don't know what to call it. Um, but anyways, she has a couple of things when she's in polearm form. Right? She's going to do this thing, and this is why we need a fast attacking character, because if you don't attack fast enough, you can't break this in time. And if you don't break it in time, you don't get the DPS phase. So here we have DPS phase, where I'm just going to do a little bit of damage here. Generally, you can get like two rocks and an ulti, and then you just want to back off because she'll explode. Um, she'll do this thing again. Sometimes she'll follow up with the sword wave, like here. You can throw another rock right there, right? No big deal. This thing too. All right, so we're just going to break it with Shangling, swap back to Geo Traveler, and walk up and throw another rock at her. All right, another explosion. So she will turn into sword form soon. Um, I don't know when it happens, generally. It is, sometimes it's immediately at the beginning of the fight, sometimes it never happens. So here, she summons lightning and becomes sword. When you see the little blink on her hand, you th that's when you want to dash towards her. When she raises her sword up like this is when you want to start dodging to the side so you can dodge the projectiles, throw a rock at her. Try to stay away from her, right? Also, you might have noticed, she's angry now. There's a little a rage meter up at the top, so... Here, if you want to get the achievement, choose the one that shoots um, two, like an X slash, in order to get a uh, DPS phase on her real quick. It's going to do a little bit of damage. So anyways, let's talk about enraged phase. So when she goes enraged, she will be kind of scary, right? All you need to do is stay behind her, except when she does that little charge slash, and this thing as well. Right, so just dodge to the side for this, and then just get really, really close to her, as close to her back as possible. Literally hug her from behind. Just try to stay behind her, just like when you're fighting Andreas. Right, same thing. Right, he's gonna do a little dash thing there. Same thing as usual. We're just going to throw the thing. You won't do too much damage to her during this phase. Okay. Also, by the way, you can climb rocks to avoid some damage there. Um, for the most part. We just want to lower her uh, little Electro Shield as much as possible. Oh, here's where we're going to need Lisa. So she's going to summon this thing uh, where you cannot dodge it. It's not dodgeable. Um, if you don't have a shield like I do, you will take one damage. Cool. Anyways, uh, you can fill that without an Electro, but I highly recommend that you bring Electro because it'll just fill it immediately. Anyways, so we have this weird little... Um, floor thing. You can dash straight through these, by the way. It's just going to do a couple of them, like one, two, three, one, two, three, and then at the very end it'll do all three. What you want to do is you want to dash and then jump. So dash, jump. Look at that. Just like that. Anyways, so we're just going to lower shield here. We're not doing this for the damage, keep in mind. Okay? We're just here to get rid of her shield so she stops being angry at us. That's why I'm busting out uh, Shangling for a little bit of extra elemental. But for the most part, not too big of a deal. All we're doing is staying behind her, right? Staying where her sword can't touch us. And so now she's back to normal, and we get a big DPS phase. Um, this DPS phase is much longer than before, but um, I would not recommend getting too greedy. So I'm just going to stay back here and uh, throw rocks at her, because I'm afraid of her, and I don't want her to touch me. One more rock. All right, so she's back. Now, same thing as first phase. The exact same thing. She turned into sword, we dash towards her because she does the little dash thing, hit her with another rock. As long as we stay decently far away from her while she's not angry at us, um, we'll be okay. That's all it. That's all it is. Throw another rock. I'm waiting for her to turn into puppets. There we go. Alright, look for the one that shoots the X. There it is. We're gonna dash over there, wait for them to shoot another one. Break the puppet. 
And here we have DPS phase. One more ulti. Alright. And that's it. Anyways. Easy.